this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP Baby Mine Elephant Digital Background for Newborn Photographers. This is a high resolution layered file for Photoshop. So once you've downloaded from the website you need to go ahead, locate the zip file because the, the file is zipped. On Windows you can unzip by using right click extract all. On Mac you can use archive utility. Go ahead and open up the folder and you will see the PDF guide, the video tutorial and the LSP BabyMind Digital Background PSD file. And you can go ahead and open this in Photoshop. And when it loads into Photoshop it will look a little something like this. And the first thing I like to do when working with a digital background is to create a duplicate version of the image. And this way, if you accidentally save over the original, you don't have to go and re-download from the website. You can simply open up the original again. So come up here to Image and choose Duplicate. And hit OK. And you'll notice at the top here, this has created a copy version for you to work on. So you can go ahead and close the original. So now you're working on the copy version and any changes you make and save won't affect the original digital background so you can use it again and again and again. If for some reason you accidentally do save over the original, you can just go ahead, um, log in or create an account on the LSP Actions website using the email address you purchase with and you can re-download this as many times as you need to. So there's no real problems there. When you open up into Photoshop, make sure you can see your layers panel. If you can't see your layers panel, Come up here to Window and choose Layers, just so you can see your, your Layers panel here. And you'll notice you have the base layer, which is the elephant image. Above this you have a group called Edit the Elephant. And then you have a blank layer to place your baby onto, I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. And then above this you have another group called Edit the Whole Image. So first let's take a look here at the Edit the Elephant group. You can hit this little drop down next to the folder to open up and see what's inside. You have close the eye, cheesecloth blankie, fur layer, white fluff, contrast down and an extra darken option. You'll notice here that there are blank boxes next to these meaning they're invisible. A visible layer has this eye icon, invisible, um, doesn't have the eye. So you can simply click within this box here, for example, let's choose close the eye and the elephant closes his eye. So you have two different, um, two different versions of the elephant really, eyes open and eyes closed, depending on your style of the image and what you feel suits it better. And this also gives you more variety if you're posting the same image for clients, um, sharing on social media and things like that. Next up you have the cheesecloth blanket. You can turn this on and it gives you this cheesecloth layer here, depending on what your original baby was shot on. Above this you have the fur layer, which is brown fur or the white fluff. So you can either have none of these on and just have the trunk as it is, or you can choose cheesecloth or one of these furs, depending on which suits your image better. Above this you have contrast down, which you can turn on or off, and an extra darken if needed. So really depending on your baby image, you can tweak this background a little to suit your baby even more. So I'm going to go ahead and close this group for now by hitting this little arrow keeps it neat. We'll be placing your baby here, but let me just show you these uh, these layers in the group above edit the whole image. So I'm going to again click this little arrow on the group. You have extra texture which you can turn off and on. You have tone the yellows which takes some of these yellows down if you prefer that and you also have a black and white option. Again you can open up this group here for the black and white and you can change various um, options within this if you need to. Everything is very editable. So I'm going to turn those off for a moment and close that. So let's get on to adding baby. It's really important that you've edited your baby image first. So if you haven't already, open up your baby image, fix the skin, fix the reds, clone any areas out, do any of your normal editing process. You want kind of a rich contrasty edit for this one. Ideally you will have shot baby on a kind of a neutral to dark toned background that's going to make the compositing a lot easier. Another thing that will make the compositing easier is using the LSP Baby Composite Photoshop Actions. You can get these on the LSP website, they're not included with this because you can do this manually. But if you prefer to have the Actions set everything up for you, 
you can go ahead and grab these from the LSP Actions website. If you're adding manually, don't copy and paste the baby image in. Make sure you're on the baby layer. Come up to File and choose Place Embedded. If you've placed the baby that way, it means you retain the full pixel data for the baby image rather than copying and pasting, which can lose, um, lose quality. But I'm going to use the Add Baby option here um, on the Actions and I'm going to choose the edited baby image here. Now I'm using the actions which have added the baby in um, for me but again you will get a very similar screen if you use the file place embedded option here. Now the light in this digital is coming from the right. If the light in your image is coming from the left you're going to need to right click and choose flip horizontal at this point. Now the actions are going to shrink the baby image and make it transparent if you're not using the actions, you can play with the layer opacity up here. So I'm just going to roughly um, add baby in at the right angle here. And I can always resize again um, if you need to. That's the beauty of a smart object is you can resize. And let's zoom in a little to this trunk. Now the actions will add a black layer mask. Black means hide and white means show. It's kind of like adding a scratch card to your baby layer here. Let me just remove that for a moment. If you're not using the actions, you can add a layer mask by coming down here at the bottom of your layers panel, this little icon that looks like the Japanese flag. Click this, it will add a white layer mask. Hold down Control or Command and hit I to make it black, meaning baby is invisible. Next up, you're going to want to grab a white brush. Semi-hard, 100% opacity, um, around 50% flow and you can start painting the baby in here. Now white means show and black means hide. This baby image is by Anna Brandt. You can see the watermark here, it's gone backwards because I have um, flipped the baby. And you can choose a black brush to start painting away um, anywhere you don't want to show. So it's a, good, it's a good idea to zoom in and really make the selection well. And make sure you don't use a brush that's too soft. If you're using Photoshop CC, let me just undo these steps, you can hit W on your uh, keyboard or come up here to the magic wand tool and you'll see you have an option appear at the top, top called Select Subject. This can be a little bit hit and miss, it uses Photoshop's own technology. So you can see here it's done an outline around the baby, also some of the, um, the background too. So you can grab a white brush and now you can start painting on it because the selection is there this means that um, it won't be painting in any of the background. Depending on your image, this might make you a really good cutout, or it might be a little bit hit and miss as it is here with me, with this one. So because the cutout isn't so good, I'm still going to need to come in using a black or a white brush to really make the selection work. You can see this is painting on the layer mask over here. You can hit X on your keyboard to switch between a black and a white brush and that saves you um, keep clicking, makes it a lot faster. You can also use the quick selection tool um, on CC if you wanted to, to help you just hone that selection in a little bit more. And when it comes to selecting the hair, uh, one trick I like to do if your baby is um, We've got hair, full head of hair like this, and you want to make sure you preserve that. Is on Photoshop to Creative Cloud, hold down Control or Command and click the layer mask here once you've done your selection, and you will notice um, marching ants come up here around your subject. You can then come up to Select and choose Select and Mask. The later versions of CC have a refine hair option, or you can use the refine edge brush here. I'm just going to shrink that down a little bit. Sweep this over the edge of the hair. Sometimes it's really good and other times it's really not. If it gives you something that's not such a great hair selection, you may have to go in by hand a little better, um, zoom right in and kind of mask that hair. It can take a little while, but it's worth doing it properly. You hit OK and you'll get a new selection. So you can use your white brush to make sure all these little bits of hair uh, stand out. You can also choose select inverse, which means even though it doesn't look any different, everything else is selected and not your subject. 
and you can this to, use this to paint anything away. So once you're happy with your selection, and remember because this is a smart object you can always go in and refine the selection more, you'll probably notice it looks like Baby is floating on the elephant's trunk here. At this point you could come down, edit the elephant and choose if you want to just keep it on the trunk or if you want to choose a blanket. So for this one I'm going to choose the cheesecloth blankie because this is a similar tone to the, um, to the browns this baby was shot on. And you can further edit the tone of the blanket by opening up any of these little groups here for the cheesecloth blankie, the fur layer or the white fluff. Click down there and you'll notice here we have a change blanket colour uh, layer. So you can simply double click this little hue and saturation icon that comes up and slide the top colour and you will see the colour changing um, on the cheesecloth blanket. So say you shop baby on purple, you can quickly slide this and it will change the colour of the cheesecloth blanket. So I'm going to change this to kind of a brownie colour just to match even more the original layer that baby was laying on. And then you can go ahead and close that. You can also do this with the fur layer too. The white fluff is simple, stays white, you don't change the colour of that one. You can also hit V on the keyboard or select the move tool up here and reposition baby as needed. Which you may wish to do um, at this point, especially if you've added a blanket in. So popping baby on there. And you can do this by clicking underneath the baby and adding a levels or a curves layer and bringing the midtones down. Once you've darkened down the image enough to look like shadows, pay attention to the areas where you're going to be adding shadows in, like behind baby here. Click on the layer mask of the levels or curves layer, hold down control and, or command and hit I, and that will invert it to black, which means it's hidden. You can then go ahead, grab a brush on white, a nice um, low flow, um, you can keep the opacity up, and you can just start painting the darkness in there and you can darken down more if needed once you've painted on. Everything remains editable doing it this way. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and show you with the actions. You can use the actions if you're using the actions to add the main baby editing layers and what they will do they will set up shadows below and above the baby and also options to lift and lighten, um, warm, contrast, things like that. I'll just pull this out a little bit. So you see we have the option here um, on the actions, which is our gentle shadow under baby. So I'm just going to use this to darken up the cheesecloth. Add some of that natural shadowing in there. And you see this is only affecting the background, it's not affecting the baby image. You can also add shadows over the baby by using the option here. Again, if you're using, um, if you're not using the actions, you can add a levels or a curves layer above the baby. Clip it on um, and add some shadows that way. And once you're happy with the blending of baby, again, you can play with the size of baby, the rotation at any point if needed. Um, resizing baby, you don't want baby too massive in this because um, obviously elephants are large, but you can make baby a bit bigger. It really depends on the um, the kind of the art form you're, you're, you're going to be sharing, so on the medium you're going to be sharing, if you're sharing online, baby small, if it's a large canvas, baby small, if it's going to be a little print then you might want baby to look a little bit larger, but just use your own discretion there when it comes to resizing the baby. And at this point you can um, decide whether to open or close elephant's eye again, you can use contrast down, the extra darken if you wanted. Um, and these are all editable, you can click on these, change the opacity, it really is just a case of playing around with these. And we have edit the whole image here, you can go for black and white which really works for this one, adding extra texture, tone the yellow down, you just click on and off and play until you're happy. The extra layers mean you can not only um, create an image to suit your own vision when it comes to this, but you can also create different images for different clients, depending on the session you can share different looking images online. You can crop in if you wanted to by hitting C and you know cropping it right down for your client there. Just hit enter on that. 
There are so many things you can do with this digital background. Just undo the crop now. So I hope that tutorial is helpful. That's how to add a baby to the LSP Baby Mine Digital Background by LSP Actions and how to open the groups up here to add different options to your elephant image to suit your baby image. Again, you're better off shooting baby on a dark background for this one. If you can get that foot hanging down, then great. If not, um, baby in a tushy up or a huck fin works really well for this, um, this digital too. And you can get this at www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.